Hello and welcome to Rhino's Ravens Preview. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Up this week, Baltimore Ravens have Washington Commanders coming into M&T Bank Stadium. <clears throat> it's only a matchup that happens every four years, which does seem kind of strange since they're what? Less than, less than 50 miles apart. So you can see them on BaltimoreRavens.com. Let's get to the injury report. Many names on this list. list. Rasheen Ali, backup running back, still dealing with a neck issue. Though he was a full participant Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Game status is questionable. <coughs> Lalu, again, backup. This time for the offensive line, which... This is somewhat concerning to see this many offensive linemen on the depth, um, on, not on the depth chart, on the injury report. Need these guys to be healthy. Dealing with a back issue. Nothing listed Wednesday, but did not participate Thursday and limited Friday. So, leading towards him not being available, or maybe available in a very limited capacity. Rashad Bateman on this list with a groin issue seemed to have been a thing. Kind of happened early in the week or maybe in the Bengals game because he didn't participate Wednesday, but limited Thursday and full participant Friday. So it would appear Bateman will be available. Malik Harrison, he's like second on the list for linebacker. Not somebody I would consider a key role, but you do want to have that second man on the list so your first man can get a break every once in a while. Stay fresh, especially moving towards the end of the game. Dealing with a groin issue, did not participate Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and has been ruled out. Disappointing there. Though at the same time, they're... Ravens are kind of heavy on the linebacker spot. Though you have several hybrid linebacker ends. So, Deontay Hardy, kick returner. Someone we missed a little bit last week. A few instances where maybe the return man didn't make the right decision. Like, let's say, allowing that ball to bounce around the 20 and then getting pinned deep in your own zone that resulted in a safety. Got a knee issue, limited participant Wednesday, full participant Thursday and Friday. Officially listed as questionable, but full participant Thursday and Friday, you would hope that the, a return man, somebody that isn't on the field that much, should be able to go. Marlon Humphrey on this list, not a good thing. Because the Ravens have played somewhat a heavy, somewhat of a heavy nickel package this year. With your two younger corners, at least younger than Humphrey, in Wiggins and Stevens on the outside. And Humphrey playing that nickel backer kind of thing. Somewhat veteran presence. He may not be able to, let's say... Punish a ball carrier like, say, a Hamilton or a Eddie Jackson could can, but can fill the same role very well to a certain extent. Has lost a lot of speed in his in his years, and dealing with an ankle injury that's going to hamper his speed a bit. Did not participate Wednesday. Limited participant Thursday and Friday. Officially listed as questionable. Charlie Kohler, someone has gotten an increased amount of snaps, mostly because he is more of the balance at tight end. He can block really well, and he can catch okay. Runs okay routes, which is a very good thing to have. You don't want a tight end that is, you know, a good runner and a good route runner, a good pass catcher, and then isn't good blocking. Because then you don't get that versatility from the tight end spot. 
Kohler has provided that to the Ravens' offense very nicely, dealing with a toe issue. Limited Wednesday, full participant Thursday and Friday. Nothing's listed, so it looks like he's going to be okay. Arthur Millette, cornerback. Again, a very heavy nickel kind of cornerback. Can make some tackles. Made some key sacks for the Ravens defense last year. Still missing in action. Had that knee surgery and now on his way back to recovery or his rehab, trying to get back on the field, dealing with hamstring issues. Didn't participate Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Ruled out. Disappointing. Maybe next week. Roger Rosengarten, ankle and hand issue, not good at all. Wonder if that is a fa- wonder when, especially the hand came, when when that injury happened. He's had some miscues on his blocking assignments, though there are some assignments he does very well. He's young. This is what? This will be his, what, sixth game. Limited participant Wednesday and Thursday. Full participant Friday. It would appear that he is good to go. Ronnie Stanley, somebody that has been on this injury list far too often over his career. Dealing with another lower body injury, this time a toe. Did not participate Wednesday. Limited Thursday and limited Friday. Listed as questionable. Not good at all. Though to a certain extent. Some of the other names on the, on the list. It would appear that. Everybody else that had a starting spot. Is good to go. So maybe McCary could fill in for Stanley. That's right. I already got it. Officially questionable. Questionable. Didn't participate Wednesday, limited Thursday, Friday. I guess I said that. I can't even remember. Forgot already. Andrew Voorhees. So I'm saying it looks like the rest of the dudes are kind of we're going to be able to go. Voorhees missed last game with an ankle issue. But full participant Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Nothing listed official. Uh, nothing officially listed under his game status. So it would appear that he's going to play. That's what I'm saying. So if he can slot in at left guard, then you got your center. He's there. <sighs> Falele at right guard. Rosa Gardner, right tackle. And you have your swing guy, McCary, could fill in for Stanley. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't even come to that. Roderick Washington, defensive end, defensive tackle. A key part of the rotation, if not more of the starter-ish. But with Pierce not being on this list, which is somewhat odd, I didn't see anything that would lead me to believe that Pierce isn't going to play. Pierce has missed a game, so it would appear... One up and one down. And, you know, we get one back, we lose another one. Knee issue for Mr. Washington. Did not participate Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And is officially listed as out. Not great because second best rushing offense in the NFL is the Washington Commanders. That's who we're facing. Yay. We need our big fat guys up front. All right, let's get to some articles here. This one written by Ryan Mink did mention that Humphrey, who hadn't practiced early in the week and was actually seen in a walking boot, which was not something that I was aware happened to him, but shit happens, I guess. Again, he was in a walking boot earlier in the week, Humphrey anyway, and later in the week he wasn't. So... Cautionary, maybe. Hopefully. Let's get to this article here written by Ryan Mink, editorial director. Again, another one written by Ryan Mink. Talking about the matchup between Lamar Jackson and Jaden Daniels. Maybe not necessarily a matchup because they won't be facing each other. 
Jane Daniels is the quarterback of the Washington Commanders in his rookie season. Has received some comparables to Lamar Jackson, which for the most part it seems true, except I think Mr. Daniels is a much better passer, at least as far as efficiency anyway. Much higher completion percentage. I mean, he's over 75% completion percentage on the season. That's fantastic. Wish Lamar could do that. But no. And, again, talking about this mat matchup, you had two similar quarterbacks. Mobile guys. Guys that can run. Guys that can pass. You know, Daniels has the edge in that category a bit more than Lamar does. Little Lamar had, does have more touchdown passes. Yeah, the running game. I forgot who the running back is. Um, Brian Robinson, who is does appear on this injury list, but we don't know if he'll play yet or not. Brian Robinson, a very young running back, doing very well behind this Washington Commanders offensive line. Good run game, good quarterback. Could we see a shootout similar to what we saw Ravens at Bengals? It's possible. It's possible. You got two hotshot young quarterbacks that can throw the ball and can run. Sounds like a nightmare for defenses. We'll see which defense is up to the task. And when will we see that? Let's get to the schedule. We'll just go stuff and get out of here. Sunday, this coming Sunday at 1 Eastern Time, Washington Commanders at Baltimore Ravens. This from M&T Bank Stadium. So that's going to do it for this edition of Rhinos Ravens Preview. Please stay tuned for Rhinos Ravens Review, which I will do Monday, and I will discuss the game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Washington Commanders. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am the Angry Rhino. Fly, Ravens, fly.